Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon. Now the news in detail. Manipur Relief and Disaster Management Minister Awang Bonumai has informed that the rescue operations will continue till tomorrow evening and that will be followed by a review meeting to decide further course of action. He said this on Tuesday while monitoring the ongoing search operations at the Tubul Railway construction, a landslide hit site in Mokwam village of None district. No dead body was found in today's work. 56 bodies of victims have been recovered till date. Five are still missing as joint rescue operations continue. A meeting was conducted at Nune Deputy Commissioner Office Conference Room to decide on the progress of the search operations and whether to continue or not. The authorities have decided to call off the search operation officially by tomorrow evening, the minister informed during the meeting. But the final decision will be taken after consultations with the chief minister tomorrow, he assured. The village authority of Malkuam has also placed a charter of demands to the state and railway authorities for compensation and other charitable provisions. The memorandum includes monetary compensation, suitable employment to surviving family members and creating a suitable dumping site to maintain ecological balance, among others. Six out of 61 uh, missing and uh, on first day we recovered 18 alive injured and uh, now only five bodies are missing so we are trying our best and uh, operation is continue in the same phase in the same uh, like uh, same force we are putting every day and uh, uh, review meeting is scheduled tomorrow and uh, as far as the state uh, is concerned uh, Additional uh, Chief Secretary Sir is monitoring situation on ground and uh, uh, DC Sir, SP Sir, uh, they are uh, monitoring the, this operation continuously and uh, uh, tomorrow we have review meeting so that uh, we will decide about the next course of action tomorrow. The Timapur Naga Students Union has issued a statement questioning the government of Nagaland and the North East Frontier Railways in regard to the allegations made by the railway authorities on the issue of alleged land encroachment. The DNSU noted news reports highlighting the railway authorities' allegation that 30.283 hectares out of 53.806 hectares had allegedly been infringed upon. The organization has demanded that the state government respond as to whether or not the allegations leveled by the NFR are true. Why has the state government not yet responded to the NFR or drawn the matter to the public, the union stated. The DNSU has demanded that the officials involved in issuing land deeds should be suspended and disclose whoever is responsible for the blunders. Further, the DNSU has expressed support to Dimapur constituency legislators to set up an inquiry committee to verify the allegations of the NFR. The students also questioned the NFR why the matter was not brought to the public domain if they had unsatisfactory aspects with the assistance provided by the state government. Further, the DNSU highlighted issues people had been facing due to the train terminal in Dimapur being shifted elsewhere. The students have warned that the discriminatory treatment of the state government and the, and the NFR will not be tolerated. The DNSU has demanded an immediate review of the issue for favorable resolutions from the government and the NFR, the union stated. In another saddening news, the government primary school in Dimapur's landmark Colonies Ward 13 is in a dilapidated condition. It was noticed that the bamboo shack classrooms did not even have a window and on top of that for the students of class A and class B are taught in the same classroom. Let's have a look at a detailed report with our reporter Aduna.
primary education to Bachaka Nimite, first stage as a formal education Pabo Nimite. So, Aji Hornbill TV can yet a landmark colony, Ward number 13, Government Primary School. The Aigena Apnianke Mogalaga standard of education, education laga standard, quality infrastructure, Dikai Divo Nimite, Yate Aigena, Setomala Pichere Dikanisna, Itu Behra Gordu, Itu Government Primary School, Yadebra Bachange, Hikaigena, formal education, Dialaga standard. Itu ase. To mugan aji hornbill TV gan yade punchi gina ekta soaking mugan apni gan ke dikhai di wo. Itu naglen te ekla hovuni ki inega situation mugan laga education standard to iman tak punchi gina aji kali bacha gan ke hikhai lato. To mugan dikhai nesna mui first apni gan ke dikhai di wo. Itu ase ekta classroom class A and B ikhi logote bacha gan ke yade ra class a and B iki logote boigena yetebra hikalaga classroom ekta de class A and B iki logote boigena bachagan ke hikalaga standard ase to mogan itu naglante first time inega iki logote class A and B iki logote bachagan ke boigena itu hikalaga hoboniki to itu isap itu itu government primary school ward number 13 to Ekta award paule laga ekta institution ekta school nisna hoyse kile mane ekta room de class A and B ikilo de hikai di wo paribole laga standard te punchi gina itya muan yade diki paya se to itu ase office GPS word number thirteen laga office ase itu to itu government primary school do itu kitya bra itu establish kuri gina itya tak. Ajigal Ittiatak Mogan Laga Education Infrastructure Government Primary School to Iman Aiganasi Itu Kobo Naparibo. Ajigali Bachagan Summer Vacation Panimite Itia students can be Aro Yate office the teachers can be nai itu opportunity muan itu itu nimite iku details to the wona parabo kuilibi aji hornbill tv gan aji surprise visit kurigina mogan laga infrastructure itu town de dimapur town landmark colony de bi inega infrastructure mogan laga town pitor de bi infrastructure inega government primary school laga infrastructure iman bia ase kuile busti level de remote area de itu manu Busti level te bi mogan laga GPS no bi government primary school tu kiman bia hoigena takibo itu ase class itu government primary school itu 1A 1 2 class 5 tak ase tu ite mogan dikanis na itu GPS word number 13 laga standard infrastructure standard ase government bi itu education fale focus kurigena parata kuria se huili bi Kile Mogan Laga Town Pitor TV in the Galaga structure, itia in the infrastructure, Iman Biahuina Ase Mogan Itusal Mogan Janipaise, Ki Itu HSLC class 10 results to government school Laga 36.62 percent here Ase Itu Oporde 33 government schools to nil percentage ek jen bi pass no hoigena aha laga muan diki pa ase to foundation ekta region do inega foundation gps level de foundation balbra bachagan ge infrastructure bi bal na digina teaching staff kan bi balbra na uh, teaching staff kan bi balbra na hi khan nimide muan laga itu high school level de aise gule bachagan bi tagan laga foundation to bal na hua nimide inega laga Results be paigina muan ayase. Ki karnea sequele itunisna itululaga foundation. Inega bia foundation. Ik ekta class de class A and B. Rakai dianimite. Inega ekilogote. Ine importance na digina. Batan ki inega foundation de hikai dianimite. High school level, higher secondary level de vi. Manuke private school kan logote. Compete kurule na para huijalaga. Ekta muan di kipase. So, it is school GPS de itu ekta toilet banagina se. Who will be toilet be itu toilet be iku kam na kurigina se. Bachagan kiniga school ste aigina itu toilet kam be inida kiniga chulawo. Itu toilet ase abnigangi dikaduo. Toilet tak be itu ine balra sapa kurigina. Bachan ke chulawole diule na parigina ase. 
তো মোগান দিকা নিচিনা মো ক্যামেরামেন কে অল্প জুম করে দিব ঘুরে দি দিব একটা নতুন টয়লেট তো বানাই না আছে তাতে একটা টয়লেটে আছে এটা একটা এই টয়লেট তো ছোলাবল না পারি না ইনে চারি না আছে একটা টয়লেট তো এটা আর সি সি এই এটার বানাই না আছে তো টয়লেট আরও ক্লাসরুম চাইছে কইলে টয়লেট কে ইম্পর্টেন্স দি কিনা আছে তার কারণ এটা তাক এটা লাগা সিটুয়েশন হিসাবতে টয়লেট তো এই আর সি সি বানাই কিনা একদম আছে হুইলি বি ক্লাসরুম লাগা পিছি ফালে উইন্ডো তাক বি নাই ক্লাসরুম না পিছি ফালে আপনি গান চাইছে কইলে সব চুহা লাগা গড় নিচিনা হে ঢিকি পাই আছে একু উইন্ডো বি নাই বাচ্চা গান কে কিনা এটু লাগা স্ট্যান্ডার্ড পর মোগান শিখি ও মোগান লাগা টাউন লেভেল দিবি এনেকা আছে কইলে দুসরা মোগান বস্তি লেভেল দিয়ে কিমান গভর্নমেন্ট প্রাইমারি স্কুলস কান এনেকা লাগা হালাত এনেকা লাগা সিটুয়েশন ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার বিয়া হই না থাকিব আজি হর্নবিল টিভি গান ইয়াদের ল্যান্ডমার্ক কলোনি দিয়ে আহি কিনা আপনি আনকে এই গ্রাউন্ড রিয়েলিটি স্কুল লাগা ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার তো দেখাই দিছে হুইলিবি দুসরা কলোনি দুসরা বস্তি দিয়ে আরও এনেকা নিচিনা কিমান থাকিব গভর্নমেন্ট বি এই একটা ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার বাচ্চা আনকে কোয়ালিটি এজুকেশন দিব নিমিটে সাই দি কিনা এই স্কুল কান কানবি স্কুল কানবি আপগ্রেড কুই দি কিনা ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার কানবি বাল কুই দি কিনা বাচ্চা আনকে একটা গুড এজুকেশন ফর্মেল এজুকেশন তো দিলে বেশি ভাল হব মহে আদ না হে উইথ ক্যামেরা পার্সন কেতলানো ফোর হর্নবিল টিভি ডিমাপুর ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক ডিমাপুর ইস উইটনেসিং আ রাইস ইন রোড অ্যাক্সিডেন্টস এন্ড ডিমাপুর ইস ওয়ান ডিস্ট্রিক্ট উইথ ওয়ান অফ দ্য হাইয়েস্ট ট্রাফিক ভাইলেশনস The traffic personnel are responsible for making sure that the traffic laws are abided by citizens but the traffic personnel themselves have been found to violate traffic laws. In this regard on Bill TV's clip we can see a traffic personnel riding a scooter without a helmet and number plate. Now the question is with traffic personnel violating traffic laws what kind of an example is being set for the public when Hornbill TV spoke exclusively to Dimapur DCP crime parad Laxman on the traffic issues he has specifically mentioned that traffic laws are applicable to all citizens disregarding uniform to personal or government officials Monvale College celebrated its first foundation day on Tuesday at Cognac Union Hall, Montown. Addressing the gathering as a special guest, Dr. I. Wati Imchen, Principal Wang Kao College, Mon, stated that the foundation day was important as it reflects back on the beginning and how since then changes has come, paving the way for success over the years. He also congratulated the founders of the college in keeping the vision of higher, second, higher education for the people of Mon. Imchen urged the governing body, managing board, teachers, staff, students and all the stakeholders to take a pledge, work honestly for the growth and development of the institution. It is the time to reflect on the beginnings that took place and how since the inception changes have come paving the way for success over the years. Foundation Day is also the day when the past, present and the future come together, taking vows to uplift the institution to the greater possible heights and dimensions. While saying something on this great day, I should not miss congratulating the founders of this great institute, who had a vision of imparting high quality education to the students. They took a bold start despite the prevalence of the COVID-19 pandemic and I'm a witness to that. I was the last person to certify that the Montbell College should be started in one, representing the district 
higher education officers representing Mon recommended that the people of Mon need a good college. It's a big dream come true for a few dedicated people sitting here today. Special congratulations also goes out to the teachers who have been with Institute since its inception and guided the students in the best way possible in every sphere of their lives. Principal Mon Val College Dr. C. H. Manwal Konyak briefing the gathering on how Mon district was lacking and was in need of higher educational institute as many students faced difficulties because the only government college could not accommodate all. Konyak thanked the bold steps and decision taken by the founder of the Mon Val College who took the initiative of setting up a higher education institute. Word of gratitude was delivered by Chairman Governing Board MVC Nathan Konyak and a special number was presented by Mon School of Music and BA third semester students. The library has been inaugurated at Good Shepherd High School in Giffrey. Updates on July 19 informed that the Deputy Commissioner was appreciative of the successful setting up of the library and encouraged the students to keep God first in every walk of their life. The stakeholders were encouraged to utilize the resources and create opportunities. Give priority to your studies first, then comes your other works or whatever. And who knows, some of you all may be good in sports. Nah, football, volleyball, or hockey, running, race, whatever. That's also part of the, it's a profession. Not every one of you will do well in studies. Not everyone will become a gazetted officer. Some of you all are, we have all our inborn talents in different ways, okay? So if you are good in sports, Pay attention to the sports. Give your 100, 110% in what you're doing. Nah, you, you can earn a lot. People are earning lots in, in our country now. Playing cricket, football, badminton, tennis, this, that, chess, whatever. They're earning, they don't have to study. They're, with the earning only, they're, in fact, they're earning more. Some of them are earning more than the officers. The Parliament monsoon session was adjourned till 11 a.m. on Wednesday amid sloganeering and protests over GSC hike on essential commodities and inflation. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar briefed leaders of various political parties on the Sri Lankan crisis during an all-party meeting on Tuesday. Day two of the monsoon session was so protests by various political parties on several issues outside the parliament. The opposition led by the Congress demanded discussion on the urgent issues of rising prices. Before the Rajya Sabha was adjourned till tomorrow, Union External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar moved the weapons of mass destruction bill amid protests and sloganeering by the opposition. The Supreme Court on Tuesday granted protection to suspended party Janda Bharti spokesperson Nubur Sharma from arrest in multiple FIRs. The SC was hearing a plea moved by her seeking a stay on her possible arrest and clubbing nine cases filed against her across India in alleged hate statements on Prophet Muhammad. The bench said, meanwhile, as an interim measure, no coercive action shall be taken against the petitioner. The Supreme Court on Tuesday transferred the petitions challenging the Agnipath military recruitment scheme to the Delhi High Court. 
The top court said it felt desirable and proper to have the view of the Delhi High Court, which is already hearing petitions on the scheme. The top court has further directed the all similar petitions challenging the scheme pending in high courts of Kerala, Patna, Punjab and Haryana and Uttarakhand could be filed as intervention applications before the Delhi High Court or the petitioners could get their pleas transferred to Delhi. The Supreme Court also held that any fresh petitions that shall be filed on the scheme in the high courts will also follow this process. Opposition candidate for the vice presidential ball, Margaret Alva, filed her nomination for the vice presidential election on Tuesday in the presence of Congress MBs Rahul Kanti, Malik Arjun Karji, NCB Chief Sharad Bauer, and other opposition leaders. Opposition parties on Sunday decided to field former Union Minister and Rajasthan Governor Alva as her joint candidate for the vice presidential election. Today is the last date for filing nominations for the August 6th election. On Sunday, NCB Chief Sharad Bauer had announced that they had unanimously decided to field Margaret Alva as a joint candidate for the post of Vice President. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.